Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to be uh, guiding you through how to make a Tetris game in Python using the Pygame library. Uh, so Tetris is a tile-based arcade style video game uh, made in the 80s, I think. Uh, and it was it, it's a very popular game uh, because of its simplicity and it's very fun to play. So let's make that in Python using the Pygame library. So this um, this is the code uh, skeleton or schema that will hold uh, the code for the Tetris game. Now, first, I'll show a demo of the game we will build. So let's go to the folder. Run the game. And now, just give it a second. And now here you see the Tetris game we're gonna build. So you see there's different uh, tiles that fall down from the screen at random. And the goal of the game is to clear as much tiles as possible by making a complete row of tiles, which will clear that level. So let me demonstrate right here. So see that how it uh, cleared that le uh, level of tiles. Uh, so that's what we want and also notice that the level of the game is being leveled up So now we're in level 2 and you'll notice that the uh, blocks are falling at a much faster rate So as you level up you the blocks get uh, Go at a much faster speed to make it harder and As you can see in the lines to clear uh, field those lines to clear show how many lines that are required to clear to get to the next level. So in level three, we have to clear three lines. So as we play, the goal is to clear as much tiles as possible without hitting the top of the screen. So as you see over here, once I touch the top of the screen with one of the figures, the game is over and the game ends and we can press escape to end okay so that's the that's the final product of what we'll uh, build so let's go over the global variables uh, for this game so first up we'll have to import pygame sys os random and pygame locals will import everything and then we are holding a colors array of RGB codes of random colors. These random colors will be what color each of the figures that fall down from the top of the screen, as you just saw. Uh, the white, gray, black colors are what hold uh, what color the grid, uh, the game background, and uh, some of the game text. <clears throat> so that's going to be useful. The level and lines to clear are, so the level starts at 1, and this variable uh, lets the game know which level we're in. Lines to clear is the variable that holds how many lines to clear. So for example, for level 1, we'll have to clear one line to get to level 2, and then for level 2, we'll have to clear two lines to get to level 3, and so on. With each level, uh, the same number of lines you would have to clear to get to the next one. So over here, I wrote the rules of Tetris. So you can move the pieces in specific ways by pressing the up arrow key to rotate them. Uh, the game is over when the pieces reach the top of the screen. Uh, you can only remove tiles from the screen by making an entire uh, row filled with tiles and the tile color does not matter. So if a uh, full row is filled by tiles, then that row will be cleared. Each time you clear a line, points are awarded. 
So the goal is to get to as high a level as possible and uh, be your pre uh, previous high score. So in this game, we have two main classes, the Tetris class and the figure class, and then main. So in Tetris class, in the Tetris class, so if you think about the MVC model, where it's a model view controller, the Tetris class would be the controller. So this is the class that uh, maintains the state of the game, um, lets the view know if a game over condition has been reached, when to level up, uh, when to award points. That's all controlled by this Tetris class. The figure class is the model. So figure is what falls from the top of the screen. So this class will create all different types of shapes randomly selected and give them each individual colors, tell them which rotation will be next if the up arrow is pressed. As you can see here with these methods. So that's basically uh, what I wanted to cover. Let's go over the figure classes, uh, figures array. So this is an array that holds the rotations for each type of shape in Tetris. So in our Tetris game that we're building, we'll have a straight line a pyramid uh, tetramino. So a, a tetramino is a geometric shape composed of four squares. And in Tetris, all the shapes have to have four squares. So uh, if you think about a grid like this, a four by four grid, we will visualize the we will visualize the shapes by uh, making each block attached to a specific uh, coordinate. So for example, for a straight line. We see the coordinates four, five, six, seven. So four, five, six, seven. So this would be a straight line. And then next to it, you see all the rotations of that specific shape. So four, five, six, seven line, if the up arrow is pressed, now becomes one, five, nine, thirteen. So it's flipped, right? It's uh rotated, sorry. So that's what the additional entries in each uh, array is for. So for example, the pyramid tetramino, it starts at one, four, five, six, and if it's flipped, it goes to one, four, five, nine. So one, four, five, nine, and if it's flipped again, it goes to one, uh, it goes to four, five, six, nine. And then if it's flipped again, it goes to one, five, six, nine. So it's like, uh, this is what holds all the rotations and by default we always start with the first rotation listed so this would be the default shape that it falls down from the top of the screen so and um, when you get to the bottom you will need something it's a piece of code that calls the main function and the main function operates as the view that displays the pi game window uh, to the screen uh, it also contains some uh, game loops, um, but this line, uh, if main equals main, if name equals main, this is what calls main. So if this file is imported as a dependency in an external Python file, then this main won't run because of this code. But if you go python main.py like so, then the main will call. So it only calls, it only wants the main function if it's directly called. So that's all I want to cover for this video. This is uh, video one of a series of videos where we'll build this Tetris game. In the next video, we'll go over coding for the Tetris and figure classes. Uh, I'll fill in all the lines of code and attributes uh, while uh, explaining what it does in depth. So that's it for this video. Uh, make sure to subscribe if you found this video helpful. Uh, thank you and bye. See you next time.